and welcome. My name is Erin Marie Wallace, and I've created this course to help answer a question that I am asked almost daily in my profession. What puts the fine in fine art? I am excited to provide the answers to this question, and through these lessons, you're going to learn my trusted approach. This approach will help you determine if a painting, a print, or a drawing is fine art or just art. I am thrilled to share with you the essential techniques that I have developed to quickly and concisely catalog a painting, a print, or a drawing for valuation. I've been refining these techniques for years, and I've distilled them down to specific points of inquiry that bring me to a logical and rational assessment based on objectively examining the materials, age, condition, and provenance, all of which lead to a conclusion of true value. You should also know that before I can even think about what something is worth, I need to know what it is. And this is imperative to what I will be teaching in this course. An appreciation and a natural curiosity of art is also imperative. I say this because you should know, I too have been curious about art my whole life. I've created art in multiple mediums and materials. So you'll be getting my firsthand knowledge from an exhibited artist's perspective. Academically, my first degree is in fine art. I have a master's degree from Sotheby's Institute of Art in London, and as a USPAP appraiser, I specialize in researching and valuing fine and decorative art for a living. I'm also the founder of my own auction house and appraisal firm, E.M. Wallace Auctions and Appraisals. As CEO and auctioneer for my company, I lead the evaluation and sales of fine consigned items within 45 different countries all over the world. A big part of my business is built around knowing how to quickly and realistically catalog a painting, a print, or a drawing in anticipation of offering it globally or appraising it for donation, insurance, or estate purposes. So now that you know a little bit about me, I'd like to know about you. Are you a dealer or a collector? Are you valuing your own collection or looking to sharpen your buying skills? What do you collect? Where are you from? Is there anything specific that you want to get out of this lesson? Touch base with me in the classroom and tell me about yourself. I am really interested in knowing what made you decide to take this course. There's a lot of information to cover here, and I am honored to be a part of sharing the skills to give you the tools that you need to succeed. To begin, when I have to evaluate a painting, a print, or a drawing, it is always with the intention of providing my client with a logical and verifiable value. To do this, I need to objectively assess the medium, the date of the creation, the condition, and the artist, using all of this information to research and assess its true value. In these lessons, I'm going to teach you how to objectively assess the medium and its condition so that the next time you're in front of a great, I don't know what, you'll know exactly what it is. It will not matter whether it's lurking in a crowded market, it's in a busy auction house, a dusty attic, or an obscure online venue. I have a tried and true way to classify fine art, separating it from just art, and I have found fine art lurking in some of the most unsuspecting of places, and I imagine that you have too. Contact me in the classroom and tell me about it. I love to hear about a good find, and I look forward to helping you find more. But first, the most important thing you can learn in this field, the one that beyond anything else you need to know, is how to distinguish and describe the major painting and printmaking mediums that you will encounter in the market. An oil painting versus a lithograph versus an offset lithograph, each have a different value. And the first step to knowing that value is to know what you're looking at. So when you encounter a visual piece of art for the first time, ask it, what are you made of? Don't be distracted by the signature or the frame. Focus on the medium and its support. Anyone can sign a name, but the materials don't lie. If you let it, the medium and the materials can tell you a lot about a piece of art. When it was made, where it was made, by whom. 
In these lessons, we're going to get intimate with the most popular drawing, painting, and printing mediums in the market, focusing on their history and their individual characteristics, which will let you easily recognize anything, anywhere, anytime. Because time is short and art history long, we're going to limit this discussion to the mediums and the genres most commonly seen in the Western tradition of paintings, prints, and drawings dating from the Renaissance until the present day. With each medium, we will touch a little bit on its history and development because knowing where these mediums come from and how they developed will let you recognize and date them by their inherent characteristics. Let's begin by keeping it light and starting at the dawn of time. <laughs> 